everyone, I'm That One Drummer, and I just thought that I would do a video to kind of explain a little bit. Um, if you looked in my bio or description or whatever in my channel, it says that I'm out here trying to inspire other drummers, and I do, I do mean that. Uh, I'm not just um, any other drummer. I, I was born with... Um, or more rather there was an accident whenever I was born and it ended up in my right arm I have loss of like range of movement it's it's not as it's not as good oh man I really miss my works here it's my range of motion is not normal um I cannot raise my hand in the air very well I have I can't like rotate my hand um it won't straighten out so, with me playing drums, um, I wanted to join band because my mom wanted me to. And after a while, I didn't really think I could play any, any instrument. And then I tried drums and uh, it grew on me. So, some things were pretty hard to learn. Like doing the drum roll, it took me so long to actually figure out how to do a good one. I was probably beginning of this year, actually, whenever I was finally able to do a decent one. Um, Come the concert at school, I did pretty good. So it's there has been a lot of stuff that's been hard for me to do. Um, doing like your sixteenth notes or thirty second notes, I can't do that and like switch to another drum while still doing it. Though those are some things I'm just not going to be able to get over because I can't move my arm fast enough. I try to get around it as best I can. Like, whenever I was playing Still Into You by Paramore, that required a lot of, like, constant eighth notes on the hi-hat. And I, I couldn't switch my hands, because I'm pretty dominant with my left hand at this point with everything. So I can't switch hands, so I'm doing that constantly. So I just had to keep practicing and practicing with songs that were like that, um, that required me to play a lot more, um, just to build up strength. So... With something like this, I had to just work around it, um, find another way to be able to do it, because that song was really fun. It's it's now my warm-up song. I'm able to play all the way through it. So I got asked earlier, um, how do I know like what music I'm going to play, or how did I learn how to play it, or what's the process I go through with that? So what I do is I actually use an app called Note Flight. It's... It allows you to type out music. Um, it is it's free. Like you can get a subscription to it and get like premium stuff. But so far it's free. It gives you ten different sheets you can use. You can have um, any number of pages on them or anything. You can have multiple different instruments on there at once and then print one at a time or separate or anything like that. After I use all ten, um, then I go back and I redo some. But what I'll do, like for Enemy, I've got one here. For enemy, I just have it all typed out, and I'll I'll listen to the song as I play through it, and I'll practice. Um, some of them I can memorize. Some are a bit harder to memorize. So you've probably seen in some of my videos me having my music because there's a certain part on there that I just I wasn't sure about or how to do. So that yeah, note flight has helped me out. I know that my band instructor uses it. A lot of other people use it. Um, and as for how I know like what to write, I just, I'll listen to the song, and then I'll just kind of, or I'll look at other drum covers, and I'll use some of their ideas, some of my own ideas, and some from others, and I'll mix it all together. Sometimes it is the exact same as another drummer, but they probably had a really good style. But I do try to just listen to the song myself and write it out how I think it sounds. So, there we go.